Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's up, Reactor Ice? John here, and it's time for the next episode of The Vampire Diaries. And in the last episode, uh, we get to go into the past, learn more about how, uh, you know, Stefan and Damon became vampires. And it was... It was a different, like, you would think that Damon's the one that's planning all this stuff. It was, but it was Stefan who placed a girl in front of Damon and it's like, here, you know, have a bite. And so that started the process of Damon becoming a vampire. And Damon just wanted to be left alone. He, with the Catherine gun, it's like, what is there? What is there, uh, you know, what am I going to do with my life? He said the reason why he wants to ruin Stefan's life is the whole thing about Elena turning both of them. And he wanted Elena for him, not Elena, but Catherine. He wanted Catherine for himself. And so, yeah, it's always uh, it's always that that issue with the love triangle. And then we also have Pearl. Pearl was uh, just trying to live a life with her daughter. And it didn't look like she really wants to harm people. Yeah, because she's you see that she's trying to take care of uh, certain people, and however, that just all went downhill when Uncle John kills Pearl, and that Uncle John, what a what a dick. <laughs> so yeah, so let's see where uh, the next episode leads, and uh, so yeah, let's do it. You want me <clears throat> to deliver a message? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for Screw you. Ooh. You selfish bitch. Damn. Oh, nope, she's after you. Maybe, oh, there she is. I'm not gonna do anything for you. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna start killing the citizens of this town one by one. And I'm gonna start with your history student. Oh, no! Got it? Not the kids. Damn, Isabel. What happened to the love? It's all fake. Great. Oh, hey. You want to help me out with this? No. Not really, no. We had a fight. Kiss my mom. Uncle John. Hashtag John, you dick. Not me. Shelly is a little jazz singer that I picked up in a blues bar in Brooklyn. And I got the cowboy at a gay rodeo in Amarillo. He's gay. Not right now. Wow. He's very good to me. You killed that pearl lady, still no invention. Hmm. I really don't think that your plan is working, John. Well, you being here isn't going to help anything. Oh, bitch slapped. You don't have to see her if you don't want to. I don't really have a choice. So the She's invention. threatening to go on a killing spree. Oh. <laughs> it's like, should I care? I take it that's not okay with you guys. Love you. Oh. Uh... Uh-oh. Who's my father? Not important. He was a teenage waste of space. The name would be nice. It would, wouldn't it? You ask a lot of questions. Yes, yeah, I'm curious. Why Stefan? Why didn't you go for Damon? <laughs> or do you enjoy them both? Like Catherine did. Oh. But the real reason is I want what your uncle wants. The invention. Jonathan Gilbert's invention. He's not going to give it to me. And the blood will be on your hands. No. Your hands. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't turn away, body. Don't turn away, body. Don't turn away, body. Don't turn away. Oh, you turn away. Why? I'm just making conversation. No one else in this house likes me. <laughs> At least I can talk to you, especially if you need someone to talk to about girls. Oh, oh. please. I'm eating. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ooh. Did you bring the device? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, wow. No. You know, Damon, we're on the same side. Uh, oh, yeah? What side is that? Catherine's. Ooh, Catherine's. She's not happy when she doesn't get what she wants. Ooh. Why are you doing her dirty work? Don't kill the messenger. She does what she wants. <laughs> and so do I. Uh -oh. oh, really, Damon? You do? Ooh. Hey. What should we do now? Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. From Catherine to Catherine's descendants. 
It's a whole line of Catherine's. You do not come into my town threaten people I care about. No. Going after Elena? Care. Bad move. You leave her alone or I will rip you to bits because Ooh. I do believe in killing the messenger. Catherine wants something for me. You tell the little bitch to come get it herself. Damn, you caught her a bitch. You're obviously upset about something and I just walked away. Come it's on. not me. Come on. That can't be us. Yes. You're my friend. Yes. Anna, and I'm sorry I couldn't show you that yesterday. I need you. I need you. You know, it's the whole Stephen thing. You know, my ma, my grandma. I met my birth mother. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to... I don't know what to say. Well, good, man. Don't say anything. Cause you're a dick. And <laughs> I know. Tyler, you dick. Ooh. That's the vampire class. Huh? Yeah. The According adventure. to Emily, Jonathan Gilbert never actually succeeded in inventing anything. Hmm. Emily secretly spelled them all with magic. Huh? Are you sure this is what Isabel wants? Yeah, I'm sure. Why? This is a weapon. Ooh. -oh. Against vampires. Huh. What would Catherine want? Unless she wants to be like queen of the vampires somehow. Oh, oh. I haven't talked to her, Jared. Oh. Uh, Are you lying to me right now? Ooh. Ooh. Why'd you say that? Because that's what you do, Alina. You lie. You oh. lie about everything. Oh, God. I know what Anna is. Oh. And I know that you know. Oh. So tell me. Uh. No. Oh. Pissed off. Jer. Jer. Jeremy. Jeremy. Wait. Jer. Jeremy. Jer Bear. So all you have to do is apply a little bit of pressure and... No! Oh! Oh! Hey, pick this trailer! Oh! Oh! Come on! Ooh, vampire strength. Oh! He'll kill you before he gives it up. Is that before or after I kill your brother, Jeremy? Oh, man. Oh! Jeremy? You're not a good mom. No, oh, wait, it's fine. You will not wait. Okay, you need to see a doctor. Tyler's driving. Tyler. Tell the story. Fine. I'll bring my car around. Good. Tyler's trying to turn things around. Caroline's always there. No. Because I have the next best thing. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy. Uh oh, what does that mean? Oh, no. Oh. 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 Ow. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Not the ring. Not the Let's ring. Let's we'll see how you do without this. Jack London. Oh, Jack. Are you going to bring Jack London to life or something? Ooh. Jack London. Wow. Oh. Done. Wow. Okay. But you took a risk with Damon. How did you know that he was going to give it to me? Because he's in love with you. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> and Damon's by himself. Oh, don't look at him. Oh, you looked at him. Oh, he's still there. I was just going to slowly walk away now. I don't know what Anna told you, but there are things that you need to know. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that your journal covered it. Oh. I just wanted to take away your pain. I'm so sorry. Just get out. No, oh. German. Elena? Is... Oh. Jer, I. Oh. oh. Lark. What's going to happen? Is Isabel going to show up? And, uh. She's right behind you. She's just... right. Right, right. And that, and that person is gone. <laughs> the woman I married, the woman I love, she's just. She's gone. Oh no. Oh no. You expect me to believe that. But now, your heart's free of me. It's easier this way. Oh. Goodbye, Rick. Hmm. <sighs> Whew. Anna? You're gonna show up, Anna? Nope. Oh. Anna? Hey, what are you doing here? She's dead. And your uncle killed her. What? Same here. Elena's a very good friend. <laughs> Actually, she might qualify as my only friend. So at the risk of sounding like a... Uh, jealous. Like a jealous boyfriend. Oh. oh, there's no risk. 
History will not be repeating itself, where Elaine is concerned. Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Oh. Sure. Oh. oh. Sure. Oh. 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 Forward to telling her the truth anyway, so I'll let you do it. The truth. What truth? About John. Mm. Because I know you guys don't like to keep secrets from each other. She dated John when she was 15. She gets pregnant and ends up at the doctor's office of John's brother. Now, what do you think John's role is in all this? Hmm? Oh. I mean, go ahead, think about it. Uh -oh. I'll wait. Uh-oh, John's yeah. the father? Yeah. Hmm? What proof do you have? I don't need any proof. That's a DNA test for John and Elena and Maury Povich to deal with. But I know how well you deal with these big bombshells, so sleep tight. Hmm, this is, oh my god. Oh, and when my you head. do tell Elena? Catherine wants all of those tomb vampires dead. And I want to add two more to that list. Let me guess. Salvatore. Stefan and Damon. I don't want this life for her. We owe that to her. I know. So she is a Gilbert. Oh, God. Wow. I did something bad, Caroline. Oh, no. And I lied about it. Oh, what'd you do? To who? To Elena. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. Everyone's just lying to everyone. This show, this show kills me. This, I'm like at a loss for words right now. And there's just so many revelations that it's, my mind is just going all over the place. And the, the biggest thing is the reveal of, there's a lot of reviews. Uh, so John, uh, Uncle John is actually the father of Elena. And so together you got father and mother. Mother is Isabel, so we already knew that Isabel is the mother of Elena. And uh, when Jeremy before made a joke, like, you're not really a, uh, a Gilbert. So it turns out that she actually is a Gilbert. And she's, <laughs> yeah, so, so John's the father. So Uncle John is actually Father John. And that makes Jeremy and Elena still uh, related, like cousins. They're cousins. And so in this episode, you, you can see that John still cares about Jeremy. So he's like, you know, leave, leave my nephew out of this. And so he's afraid. He, he was afraid for Jeremy's life, even though Isabel is a vampire now. And so it's, it's you know still related and oh my god i'm i'm still oh my god <laughs> Ooh. uh i uh <laughs> oh my god that was uh, let me let me uh <laughs> Whew. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I got this. I got this, guys. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So, Isabel's awesome in the episode. We get to see her. And we saw her coming back to town last week. And now she's back with uh, a message for Alaric. And it seemed like she didn't care about Alaric. And, but we find out that she still does care for him. But it's kind of like caring in a way where she's away. But she, uh, when she meets them, you know, she met up with Elena. She met up with Alaric, and she's showing the uh, poker face, like I don't care about you guys, and I'm not redeemable. But deep down inside, she chose this life. She has her regret, and she doesn't want this life for Elena or Alaric. And so that's her. That's that's the price she has to pay. Like, uh, does she be a good? You know, if she's going to be a good mother or a good, uh, not a husband, but wife, that means she she's going to be with them. But by being with them, it's uh, a life that she doesn't want them to be involved in. And that's why she, what is it, her plan with John's plan to kill Stefan and Damon. So they want vampires out of their lives. And so it's a noble cause, but she's still 
she still has her fun though as a vampire so she's still compelling people and hurting humans so she's still not all that good so there but there's a side it's just it's like everyone else outside of the people you care about you don't care about them so it's i, I see the pattern with vampires where uh, the person you care about you really care about them and it will never go away um and we also find out that damon loves uh, Elena, according to what uh, Isabel said, and and we can kind of see that with how Damon treats Elena, and and you know Damon made threats like don't you ever attack or hurt the people I love, care about, and so he actually does care about people, so he cares about Elena, and he also still cares about Stefan, and it's it's this this show is just uh, it's like so many. It's like the being a vampire is tough because you can switch it on and off, but then you can care about certain people and then not care about others. And they've done horrific things because Damon, he's still at that point where he's he cares about Elena, but he's done some bad stuff, and he's still treating his brother like crap. And uh, you know he kills he kills Stefan's best friend. Uh, Lexi, and he also hurts people. He hurts humans that are close. He, he hurts uh, people that are close to Elena, but probably, that's probably before when he got close to Elena and now they're friends. And oh my god, it's it's craziness, craziness. And and this part where Stefan kind of threatens <laughs> Damon, like, hey, you better not, you better not do anything with Elena. Like whatever it is that's that happened with Catherine, this is not it. So, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. So, yeah. So now, it goes back to. Uh, you know, Damon put the two and two together with Isabel and John. So now, Stefan has to live with this. And what he's gonna do? He's gonna tell Elena that John's the father. Um. Ah. Uh, it's he has to because their relationship he has to just be honest with her or if not then uh, what's the point and then we also have bonnie bonnie is um she lied to elena and she uh you know she was supposed to like turn the uh the magic off but no it looks like Catherine's gonna have what she wants and Bonnie, well, what's going to happen? Like, is their friendship ever going to be the same again with Bonnie and Elena? I don't know. And with the other humans, uh, you know, you got Matt, you got Tyler. And Tyler, he knows that he's messed up and he's trying to help out, especially offering a ride to the hospital for Matt. But Matt was like, no, you know, you uh, he's still angry because Tyler tried to make out this or, you know, he made out with his mom. And but then Caroline's there. Just go, uh, you know, Tyler, go take him. So Caroline's still there, still cares for Matt. So Matt. Matt's in a terrible position just because you got friends, but then the friends still try to they made mistakes. And it's this is this is <laughs> this is a crazy drama. What a great episode. My mind is really all over the place. So I love it. I love just feeling conflicted with all my emotions and uh, these characters that this is this is what, what's great about the show is that you can see how certain characters act and later on the show builds certain characters up so you kind of feel for them and you're kind of rooting for them in a way and uh, the stuff that they've done in the past you're like ah that is bad but you you know, you grow with these characters, so it's the same. It's like John now. It's like they're slowly making him a character that you care about. Like he still he cares about Elena, and he's doing things to make sure sh she's safe, even though they're. It's all about keeping someone safe, but through secrets and lies and all that. Um, so yeah, great, great episode, and uh, one of my one of my favorite episodes so far. And let me know what you thought about this episode on the comments below and also uh you know uh, i like to thank our patrons on patreon for helping us out helping us continue helping us uh, grow this channel so you guys really mean a lot to me and if you haven't yet uh, subscribe to this channel like and share this video uh, you know join our facebook group 
and uh, the link is in the description nerd reactor and reactor rides other reactor rides are there i'm going to be there just just talk about talk about the show so yeah uh, with that said i'm john and i'll see you guys next time